friends so now we have created the components which we have which we need to make our final, final assembly so now we will jump to our assembly and create it but before that uh, save the component which you have made uh, go to file menu click on save as new folder and I will give it name uh, for example part triple one and similarly save the other component also click here maximize the window click file Oops. go to file click save as and again select a directory in which you want to save and give your file the name you get part triple two and click on save so now uh, we are we have saved the components which we have made so now let's just proceed to the assembly go to file menu click on new click on assembly and click ok so now we are in the assembly task uh, assembly workspace so now here we can assemble our components uh, here in this window you will see the part names which we have which we had created earlier so just drag them and click here and drag the other part as well uh, go to insert component click and drag the other part also and click again so now we have the our parts in in the assembly window so now we are ready to assemble them to assemble them we need to sign relations between them and the relations can be signed by using this mate command go and click on the mate command and in the in this checkbox in this area you have to provide solveworks uh, the entities which you want to make so here i will select my this space and as this space will will be touching this space of this part so i'll click on this space and I will have a coincident relation between them. I want these two pastes to be coincident. So I click coincident and hit the green arrow. And now another mate. I click on this uh, circle, uh, this circular edge, and I will click in the circular edge of my component, this component, and I will have a relation between them concentric and again I will click the green button and now we have to fix one part so uh, to fix a part you need to right click on the part and then from the from the from this cloud cloud you can select a fix fix command here but uh, this app, but this app uh, at the starting of the part one one and triple one name, uh, it uh, it shows that the part is already fixed. So we need not to fix it. It's already fixed. So we have just created an assembly. I will show you like this. So you are saying that this part is fixed. It cannot be moved. See if I am trying to drag it. It says that the selected component is fixed, it cannot be moved. But as this part is floating, so I am able to move it. So similarly, we have to we have to create more and more. We have to get we have we need more component like this, and we need all more component like this also. So we will just copy and paste them. Go and click on the part triple two button here uh, on the part triple two name. Control plus C, Control plus V to paste. And I will have four of them. Again paste and again paste. And I will also copy them. Control plus C to copy, V to paste, paste. I think I need. Uh, four of them also. So, 
so now let's proceed further So let's proceed further. Go to mate and click this space and check the this space of this this component. So now I have coincident relation between these two, and now I will select this edge. This edge also, and I will have concentric relation. Click right. So now I have this fixed up also. I fixed up this part also. So I will again click on mate. Click on this face here. As this face will be touching this face. So click here, click the green arrow and click on this circular edge here and this, this one here and make it that concentric and great. So now we have just completed a little assembly and in the similar way we have to proceed further so now I will do it, do it a real quick way so you see that uh, for making an assembly you just need to know which face touches which face and what exactly uh, you should know about what you are going to design so you have a clear idea what you are going to design you know just do mess. you just don't mess up things so now we'll proceed here yeah, a little quick. Click this face. Click this face. We'll go with. It's actually difficult sometimes to select the faces. Click on this circular edge and click on this circular edge. Make them concentric, click correct, and now I have this one also here. So, similarly, similar with this one, select this space, and now this space will go with this space. Click correct. Yeah, my to check, green check and here and then I'll select this circular edge and this edge. So now I have half of the work done, proceed in a similar way. In this case, this face, I will be matching this face with this one. Click this button. Add selection. Again, select edge. You can concentrate. Click correct. Again, this face and this face will go with this face. And this circle edge. With 
this one click on it and now we need uh, the we, I, we need to fix up this component between these two this and this so click on this face no 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 click on this face as it was a behind we need to place the front face click on this face click this face click right click on this circular edge on this circular edge concentric correct and this face with this face make them coincident and this one this edge here concentric with this edge and make them concentric so now you will see that we have created our final assembly it is yes Oops. so in this way you you create an assembly it's sometimes a really it's it's sometimes a really tedious process so have patience know what you are going to design that's very important you should know which part fits into which part and which part goes where you should have complete idea with a, before designing anything so this was fun right so we will be building more cool stuff in the next videos uh, in the next bonus video i will tell you how to render this in the part which you have created so that's enough for this video go to file menu click on save as and save this assembly click rebuild and i will name it scissors Click save. It's really fun, right? 